Hi, it's Larry the Llama here. How you doing? The war on terror is going from bad to worse. President Obama started this third bombing war because of these Islamist crazies, the, the Islamic State they call themselves, who are sweeping across the region. Well, that's what he said at any rate. But who's actually fighting the Islamic State? The Kurds have stopped them in the north. In southern Iraq, it's the Iranian-backed militia and their pals in Hezbollah who are defending Baghdad. But the Kurds and Iran and Hezbollah are all the people we've been calling terrorists for years. Turkey is a member of NATO, but more concerned about stopping Kurdish independence than wiping out Islamic State. And Saudi Arabia still gives money and support to Islamic fundamentalists in the whole region and is only topped by Israel in the hatred of Iran. And what has the U.S. bombing achieved this time around? Okay, we've helped out the Kurds to some small degree, but most of our bombs have fallen in Syria. We're killing innocent people again, even wrecking ancient sites. Is all this to destroy the Islamists, like Obama claims, or is it really to turn Syria into yet another failed state, you know, like Libya? Are we looking for ways to devastate Iran too, under the cover of fighting Islamic State? There's an old saying, you reap what you sow. We invaded and destroyed a whole lot of countries, which even if they weren't democracies, most of them had secular governments. They, they were developed and educated societies. Iraq, Libya, and now Syria. In Iraq, we threw nearly half a million trained soldiers and officers out into the streets. No wonder they've joined up with Islamic State to give us a taste of our own medicine. This chaos has Made in USA written all over it. Just like the Humvees, tanks, and rocket launchers the Islamists used to carry out their barbaric attacks. When will we ever learn?